hello everybody welcome to my channel today i want to show you how to replace the lock and unlock button on a chevrolet silverado 2010 and what you're going to need for this is of course the part that you see in it right there uh pry tools uh screwdriver uh rusher extension and of, co of course the key um and as you can see right here i'm going to start the uh, procedure right here and what you have to do is pry this part on the door so the one i will be replacing is the driver door side lock and unlock button so you have to pry this uh this uh top this part right here and get this open sorry if i not don't focus sometimes so i'm trying to pry it as much as i can so as you can see i was able to bring it out and stay with this video at the end because i'm gonna give you a bonus at the end of the video and the bonus is like another part of knowledge that is very important when you lose the um remote control so st stay with me at the end of the video you'll find some information that is good for you so as i show you there is two bolts 10 millimeter bolts that this is why you use during extension and rusher you get them loose you take those bolts off and then once you do that you proceed to remove the handle because underneath this in the middle there is the the controller for the main uh, driver door as you can see so this is on the way we're just going to remove this and after we remove this it's going to be easy you just have to pop it up pry it up it comes out very easy you will be surprised how easy it comes so i'm trying to remove the one on the bottom so right now i'm finishing up to taking off those two bolts once you lose them so you want to go faster with your hand rod you know on tightening these bolts and get them off so i was able to bring the handle off and i'm just gonna bring it up easy like that so it's not difficult i didn't even have, even have to use the pry tool if it's kind of hard with you you can use the pry tool and as we see on the back we have all the controller cables right here so we're gonna start to pry every single one so what i did with this one is press with the flat screwdriver on that side and bring it out with the with my other hand so as you can see it came off right away from here so it's pretty easy if you use something you know and then i unplug most of them right now and one of the important thing is take pictures when you're doing this so this is like an l-shaped connector so what you do is you unclip that clips um and then push it and to bring the part out this is the bottom so you open the clips on the side sorry i didn't show you that i already put the new one and I should, I know that I should show you, but all you do is open those side gaps and push it in because the button has some clips, as you can see right there. So all you have to do is use the flat screw and open and push from the other side, as I just did before. And once I put the new one, I want to proceed to reconnect everything. And as you can hear right now, so I'm testing see i'm i'm testing to see if it works properly uh which uh it did so as you can see it will lock and unlock too so <clears throat> i will let you hear the sound to prove you that it's locking and unlocking so uh so right now everything is worse before the problem we had is it didn't lock the doors but as you can hear right now it's locking and unlocking so everything is working fine this is a very easy procedure you don't have to go to the mechanic to do this and as you can see i put everything back everything works in order and this is the proof see everything works fine and right here is the bonus i promise to in order to program a remote for this you, you start pushing the button to adjust the the mileage and you press it four times until you see the sign it say relearn remote when you do that you you hold it you press it and when it blinks so it's time to press the the two buttons on the remote so i'm gonna simulate like i pressing it but i know i don't need to do it because i already did before so you hold it press once you find that message uh, relearn remote you hold it on until it blinks so when it blinks you hold lock and unlock button until you hear two beeps when you hear two beeps that the confirmation that you already programmed the remote so it is very easy this was my gift to you an extra knowledge for you and thank you for watching this video see you next time